Hey everyone, YouTube is now requiring personal API keys to use the add-on. And if you don't have them, you will receive an error message. Let me show you this error. So there you go, that's the error that you'll get. So today I will show you how to get an API key, a client ID, and a client secret that you will enter into the settings of the YouTube add-on. I've made some notes with the steps and included the links for you to click on in the description of this video. So you'll want to open a notepad to save the keys that you are going to create. And you can copy the steps to refer to later. So copy and paste this information into your notepad. When you are ready, go ahead and click on the link in the description. This will bring you to the Google Cloud platform. If you aren't already logged in to your Google account, you can log in here at the top right of the screen. After you are logged in, you will see this welcome message. Then you need to click the box to agree to the terms of service. Then you can click here on agree and continue. On the left side, click here on API and services and select the dashboard. Then you need to click on create project. You will choose a name for your project and enter it here. Up here at the top, it will tell you that you have 12 projects remaining in your quota and you can request an increase or delete projects by clicking here on manage quotas. And for organization, we don't need that. So now that you've entered your project name, you can click on Create. And you'll get a notification that your project was created. Next, you will click on API and Services and choose Library. Then scroll down until you see YouTube. Then select the first option, the YouTube Data API version 3. This will provide access to YouTube data such as videos and playlists. So click there and then click on Enable. You can see the status here says Enabled. Up at the top you will see a message prompt to create credentials. Click on Create Credentials on the right. Now you will need to select the API you are using from the drop-down menu. Choose YouTube Data API version 3. Next is where we will be calling this API from. And you can choose the platform you will be using it on. I will be choosing Android. Next is what data will you be accessing. Choose Public Data. Then you can click on what credentials do I need and this will generate your API key. You can click here to the right to copy it with the clipboard. Then paste it into your notes. Now click Done. At the top is your next prompt to configure the consent screen. This is the OAuth consent screen. Here you choose external and then click on create. Enter the application name that you have made. A logo is not necessary for this or support email unless you're doing a real project. So for our purposes, we don't need any of this information, so we can leave those blank. All right, so we can go ahead and hit save. On this page, you'll see the rate limits that you are allowed. 100 grants per minute and 10,000 per day. This is more than enough for personal use. If you're a developer, you can request to raise the limit by clicking raise limit here. Next and the last step of this process is getting the other two codes you will need for the add-on. On the left side menu, click here on Credentials. Here you will see your API key and clicking here at the top, 
on Create Credentials, click on Client ID. For app type, choose Other. In this box, enter your project name, then click Create. This will generate the other keys. The first one is your client ID. Click on the clipboard to copy your client ID and paste it into your notes. Then copy your client secret and paste that into your notes. We have now completed this process and can click OK. So next we will put this information into the settings of the YouTube add-on. So let's go open up Kodi. Okay, so let's go into YouTube and select the settings. Over here on the left, you will see API. Make sure you've enabled personal API keys and then click on the first one, the API key. Now go to your notes. This is much easier on a PC, of course, and copy, or you can do control C on a PC and control V will paste. Now hit OK. Next click on your API ID and copy that and paste and hit OK. And last is your API secret. Click there and copy and paste and hit OK. After you have all three in, you can hit OK. So now let's try that again. And as you can see, it is now working. So it's a bit of a pain, but those are your instructions and that is how you get your YouTube add-on working again. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please ask them below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.